welcome to second december's godly blessing supreme god father has another message for us and that especially when we face issues or problems during this godly yoga to do something good in our life and especially in terms of service when we try to move ahead there are certain obstacles and those obstacles come because this world of satan or ravana is very scared to lose its power you see in this present world when we are trying to spread the light the darkness is afraid to lose itself and that's where the systems which have been made in this world are all for the sake of the satan or the shaitan or the ravan and spreading the light becomes a little more difficult but god says take the steps of courage and move ahead in whatever work you do and when you are doing and when you are offering the work to me then the obstacles would go away so in today's lesson of vardan it's all about being ever ready to face any situation and still be motivated and still move ahead so god always says may you become ever ready and perfect by keeping your mind focused on having the remembrance of one be man manabhav may you become ever ready and perfect by keeping your mind focused on having the remembrance of one be man manabhav now there are certain words like man manabhav which are very crucial these words have been taken from one scripture which is known as bhagavad gita and it means the same as per every single scripture out there bhagavad gita means the mother of all different religions is the original format of god's dictates so man mana bhav over here means that make your mind stable in my remembrance tell your mind to focus on to me as simple as that and every scripture talks about it so god always says remain constantly aware that you have to be ever ready at every moment now ever ready can have many meanings ever ready could have the meaning that okay today this second could be my last second and it should be in memory of creator not about worldly things not about worldly troubles and problems and what will happen how will it happen and who will do it not those things second thing is be ever ready to face any kind of situation with a financial situation relationship issues whether it is health related issues whether it's mental emotional issues or any kind of obstacle in your life in any of these is to be ever ready at every moment any situation could remain constantly any situation could arise at any time so you have to be ever ready any situation can come you try to progress ahead you try to reach out you try to do good and you try to spread the words and certain things can come and become obstacles in your life so god says even if destruction takes place tomorrow a destruction as per god is creation of the new world destruction of the old that means the old habits old thoughts old ways of living or what we call as bhrashtachar or what we call as a world which is full of evil so god says the destruction of the evil and then the construction of the good or the divine god then says even if destruction takes place tomorrow you will be ready that means we are ready and we are ready to leave the world and go back and that's what every religious text is warning us and telling us about these god's version and god is saying himself that any time be ready because destruction or transformation from evil to divine can take place any time and that's what the world is talking about today and that's where the world is moving also today that's that's what god says ever ready means perfect that means i don't have any defect within me i don't have any desires no wants no expectations from people and that's the highest stage after having lived in kali yuga it's time to move from kali yuga the iron age towards the diamond age that is the age of confluence is the confluence between the evil and the good so we're transitioning from the evil towards the good and evil arises when we have a lot of desires of this evil world so god then says ever ready means perfect in order to be perfect and complete you must have done the preparation to belonging to the father and none other so now in order to to be detached and still be doing a karma is the highest form of karma 
and god doesn't say that you stop earning you stop taking care of your health you stop doing things but be detached while doing those karmas and that's the highest lesson which we learn in bhagavad gita or the highest understanding which we learn in bhagavad gita that means you offer everything to god that means every service which you do you may say well i'm doing it for the sake of god but then god says who has given you those qualities or those divine virtues or the intellect who has given us you only think that the money has been given by god so i'm using that money for the sake of helping others it's not just the physical sense of what god has given us that is what we have learned or what we have attained through our wisdom given to us by god or through virtues through qualities given to us by god so we are talking about certain things which are very subtle not just physical so are we detached by thinking that this quality was given to me by god and i'm using this quality for doing godly work so that means i'm just an instrument the qualities don't belong to me is been given by god i'm just a trusty i'm just using those tools to do something good on so that means i'm using a tool i am not the tool itself so that's what god says if your mind is man mana bhav that means you're constantly connected to god and you're doing everything for the service of god on one you will be ever ready to face any situation any kind of trouble do service while being ever ready you will also receive cooperation in doing service and be successful that means god will find his way he will guide us to be in a proper place proper time at the right time he'll guide us in the right place and that's where he knows it better than us where the obstructions the obstacles he'll find another way to reach out to his children and that's what he does every time he guides us and we have to offer it to him not be thinking that i will do it he will get it done through us and that's the highest form of being ever ready at any moment at any second be it doing service at your home it could be very small thing which you're doing it could be the highest thing which you're doing could be a corporate could be an ngo could be a business which you're handling but be ever ready so that's what we learn in prama kumari so you can come and learn this beautiful knowledge about how to be ever ready how to be detached while doing any karma and be lighter in your life this one shanti